Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're doing another Purpose February video and we're getting to the end of this. So make sure that you stay tuned for the rest of the months that you get the rest of the videos that I have for you um, on helping you walk right into or help establishing, uh, in, in other words, growing, um, expanding your, your purpose. Today we're talking about decisions and the word decide means to kill every other option. And this is important when you're walking into your purpose because there can be so many voices, so many choices, so many options of what you could be doing, of the way to get to where you're going. And this doesn't mean that they're all wrong and it certainly doesn't mean that they're all right. What it does mean is that you need to make a decision, you need to decide uh, where you are going to put your efforts and then not look back. That needs to be your final answer. You know, your yes needs to be yes and your no needs to be no. A lot of people um, get stuck in indecision and that's actually what keeps them from walking into or establishing their purpose. So um, let me um, let me read you something. Today we're going to use all of the um, exercises that we've been doing throughout this month. So make sure that you have them. Um, I want you to have in front of you, you know, what your predetermined choices are, where you spend your most time, what your passion is, what your skill set is. And I want you to look at those things. I want you to, to decide today, right now, how you are going to use those things. So um, I want you to implement choices that will serve you, benefit you, and remember that this means to kill every other option. So there is no plan B. This is going to be your, um, your final decision. So as you review these things, I want you to fill out this statement. I want you to write down this statement. I want you to, to really think about this. And then this is what's going to be put in front of you every day that you sit down to work on your purpose, or you get up in the morning to do your purpose, to go to your purpose, um, you know, to be interactive with your purpose. So today I decide that I will fully dedicate, I will be fully dedicated to using my skill sets of fill in the blank, look at your skill sets that you filled out from the other day and my passion for blank, fill in your passion, your why from, uh, from earlier this month to serve slash help slash increase. What, who is your target demographic? Is this your kids? Is this, um, women? Is this people ages 50 to 55? Who are you serving? I will spend blank hours per week or day developing or improving blank. What are you going to be doing in order to make sure that you are the best at uh, whatever it is that you're doing? You're the best version of that thing that you could possibly be. How many hours can you actually set aside time to do that? This is one of the reasons that I had you go through and find out where are you spending your time? What are your habits? Are these things serving you? Do, do things need to get changed around? And I will keep myself accountable through blank. Every person who, um, who sets out to build something needs people speaking into their lives who are more knowledgeable than them, who are um, looking at the same picture as the person who's doing the building and who's ready to keep, help them keep accounts so that they reach that goal. So this is something that you're going to need to think about. How will you keep yourself accountable? Maybe you join a small business group or you hire yourself a business coach, or maybe you're getting together with another group of moms. There has to be something put in place that you commit to. Remember, this is a decision. You're killing every other option for it. And then I will review my progress every blank. How often are you going to go back and look at uh, how well you are implementing these steps. You know, did your schedule um, shift? Have you started adding in more time of being on the internet, just mindlessly scrolling? Or have you added in more time of sitting in front of the TV? Um, you want to have a set schedule for when you will um, review your progress and actually be able to take account. This is how you are going to be able to measure what you're doing, right? If you can say to yourself, if you can honestly say to yourself, I've dedicated 10 hours a week um, to this thing, to this new um, skill that I want to learn, to uh, making uh, networking or, or making new connections. Um, if you can actually say that to yourself, is that enough? Is that enough time? Maybe it's too much time. Maybe it's too little time. 
but you won't be able to tell if you're not consistent. And again, this is why a decision is so important. You have to kill every other option. It's not, I'm going to go to this meeting or watch Netflix. This has to be the only option. There's no plan B. And you have to be willing to adjust your schedule accordingly. You have to be willing to adjust your efforts accordingly. And that's the, an, another reason why you need to keep track of this and have a, a review process set in place, accountability set in place. Because maybe to you, you think you're, you're doing all of the right things. You know, you're, you're walking in a straight line right into the middle of your purpose, only to find out that, you know what, something got a little bit off over here. You forgot your passion or you forgot your why. You forgot why you were building these skills. Maybe you started slacking in, in uh, you know, your classes or something that you were taking for, um, for developing a skill set that you need for your purpose. Accountability is going to help make sure that you stay on the right path, not just that you eat, reach your destination, um, but the, actually that you don't take any detours while you're going there, ne unnecessary detours. So um, I hope this video has helped you. I look forward to coming to you guys tomorrow with another Purpose February video and 